Hi Capricorns. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your spread. I'm going to get the strongest energies around you right now. I'll be looking at your recent past, the crossing energies if you've been dealing with somebody, the opposing energies, and then what's coming in. It's right after the super moon in your cousin, neighbor, Aquarius. And it's going to be a big super moon. It's the last one of the year and it was right after the lion's gate. The Knight of Pentacles kept popping out when I was pre-shuffling and I kind of felt something, but I'm going to get some cards, oracles for the strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns, all placements. This is general. It will not resonate with everyone. Chopped wood did fly out when I was pre-shuffling. Spirit Guides, show me the strongest energies around Capricorns. This reading is for, please. What would you like to show me? For the beautiful sign of Capricorn, this reading is for strongest energies. What else do you want to show me? Thank you for the sign of Capricorns. You guys, this is the card that popped out in the pre-shuffle, Chop Wood. I felt something from that card. All right, you guys, in the middle of the deck, the card that flipped is we got clean it up. Right around you right now, you're cleaning everything up. And I literally feel that you're coming into this energy, this strong energy of very, very detached energy Capricorns of what it is that is no longer serving you. Chop wood. It's like you're getting down to the core of the matter and you're cleaning it up. It's beautiful. I kind of felt it. I saw that card. I do have Unfinished Symphony. Well, I think you're about to clean that one up. And I have it with Thinker. Well, that Aquarius moon is going to push you into something because you're feeling it right now or thinking it right now. And then I have Serendipity. Serendipity is a beautiful card. It's almost what I feel is there's things that have been going on around you, if this is your reading, that have almost been feeling a little bit too coincidental. Because I think something is pushing you into this energy of, right there, chopping wood and cleaning it up right now around you. That super moon in Aquarius is really going to put things to a finished symphony. Because I have it with Thinker, and that's what Aquarians are all about. I should know. If you guys know me, you know I'm an aqua, aqua, cap, aqua. Yeah, you're my moon. And I got to say that this resonates with my emotional side. And things have been happening lately. Really weird things. I've almost been like, hmm. All right. Let's look at your recent past. Three of Pentacles is under the deck. I never know who I'm going to choose for my beautiful Capricorns. <laughs> Recent past, please, Spirit Guides for Capricorns. Whew. All right. We've got that super moon tomorrow. In Aquarius, last one, last super moon. Recent past, please. I've been feeling it. For the sign of my Capricorns. Recent past. For the sign of Capricorns, this reading is for. Why are these here in their current energies? Recent path, thank you. For the sign of Capricorns, thank you. What else do you want to show me? Recent path, please, for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. Anything else you'd like to tell me? Wow, a lot of stuff is sideways, Capricorn. All right, underneath the deck is I have the Knight of Wands and I have it with you coming back into your energy, you guys. Uh, recently in the past is the Knight of Wands on a mission. It's the Knight, it's the fire energy and I feel like it's something that pushed you getting to get you back into your energy, back into the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is all about self-worth, knowing it, holding on to it. She wouldn't tolerate any inner out behavior unless you got a lot of determination to go after something you really, really wanted. Because underneath the deck, I have the fool. That's a zero. That is taking a leap of faith. Just going for it. You know, just leaving whatever has recently been in the past. Yeah, just like I'm taking off somewhere else. I'm doing something else because I think you came back into your energy. After your super moon in Capricorn, you probably started realizing about the things that were not coming together for you. All right. Three of Cups. This is the Three of Love. That is the Tree of Life. That can be third-party situation. I do have the Six of Cups. This is coming back into something. Um, the Six of Cups is a big card of nostalgia. 
um, I feel that there's something here that you you were healing from. And I think it was something that once you felt was the triangle of love. I don't know why I said forgiving. I, I felt it. I do have the Queen of Cups and I have it with the Wheel of Fortune and it's with the Ace of Cups. I'm digging a lot today. I'm digging a lot and I don't know why. There's always a reason. But the Queen of Love is all about forgiveness. Open to love. Open to change for a new opportunity. Because underneath all that, I have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, where are you going? Get back up there. And I have it with the King of Truth. And getting to a higher level of, I know there's something better out there. Wow. From whatever has been making you feel like just stuck. And the Hanging Man is Pisces energy, but that's almost like, sac it's like you, had, you were sacrificing a piece of you, I felt. You, were, you, you, you saw something, you knew something, but I feel that you were sacrificing something here. Seven of Swords with the King of Truth. Well, that King of Truth trumps that Seven of Swords. You saw something recently. You know, you saw the truth and clear vision of something or someone you felt has been deceptive with you. Mm. Over to my left, you tried to sneak away as I have the Five of Swords sideways. And then I have the Hermit sideways. I do feel that the Five of Swords is a card of words being spoken to you in the wrong way. And I feel with the Hermit sideways is I feel like you almost started seeing the light. Like with the King of Truth and the Hermit sideways, it's like, it's like now you see the truth recently. You, you've been coming into this recently because I see your current energy is cleaning it up and chopping it up with from that unfinished symphony because you're about to make it finish. I have the uh, Four of Swords sideways and I have the Two of Wands. That is your fire energy, the two of wands, meaning that you were kind of in between <sighs> laying down your heart and your mind about moving forward and deciding what you truly want. I feel that you're really thinking about it, about which wand is it that I want to go into. I really feel it. I feel like you were really thinking about it, really thinking about it. Have the four of cups staring at me. You're really thinking about it. I have the Ace of Swords sideways. There was something I feel you once loved. You once thought you loved. And I still feel you do love it. But you started having a new truth about something. You started seeing something in a new light recently. I have the Ten of Wands sideways. And I kind of feel now, now you started... Because that Ten of Wands is this. Chopping wood and cleaning it up. It's almost like you didn't want to feel this weight anymore of anything. You don't want people making you feel like it's weighing on you and it's blocking your fire energy. Yeah, and then you started fighting it. Seven of Wands. You started standing your ground about something. You really started coming into this energy of, I uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no more. Because I have the King of Earth. <laughs> I have the Queen and King. That's Taurus energy, but this is something you are determined to have and want. It could be about your money, your stability, but that king gets it. King does what it needs to do to achieve it. And the last card they gave me, you guys, is the Three of Swords in Reverse. Coming out of being any pain from disappointments you've had because I see Thinker right now around you. It's from something that you feel has been an unfinished symphony, but you're cleaning it up and you're chopping it up. And I feel that right now around you is you've had a lot of weird things happening. Maybe seeing a feather or maybe just seeing something all the time. That's serendipity. That's like something is being aligned for you, I feel. I, I just feel this and this is what I do. I'm going to look at the cross in energies now. If you're not dealing with anyone, the Queen of Pentacles is on the bottom. That's what I wanted to play with today. Um, there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. Crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. One shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Show me the crossing energies my Capricorns have been dealing with. All right. Let's see what they want to show me. Let's see what's going on around you now. Crossing energies, my Capricorns, thank you, Spirit, have been dealing with. Thank you. 
What else do you want to tell me about the crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. Yep, they're done. I can tell. Oh, I see two aces. Well, underneath the deck is I have Scorpio showing up. Ah. Uh, it's with the five of pentacles. Uh, death is a very, 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 very tough period to go through. Somebody has been going through a transformation period because I think Capricorn shut them out. They feel isolated because I see you're chopping wood and cleaning something up, Capricorns. I have the Page of Swords. This is someone who thinks about it. This is someone, they call it the spy card, but I just kind of feel because the page is looking over at your energies. I feel that the Page of Swords is looking at something about you. They're thinking about something about you. It's making them change. Everybody comes into somebody's life for a reason. Because underneath that, I have the world. I have it with the lovers. And then I have Capricorn and the Queen of Pentacles. And then I have the King of Air. So that's a lot. The world with the lovers and the devil. Well... This is a person who feels that you have been a part of their destiny. But there's something about this situation with you that they wanted to come to a completion so they can start something new in their life, new chapters, new lessons. It could be with you because I do have it with Gemini, the lovers. But the King of Swords is showing up and I have it with you, the Queen of Pentacles. That's a very detached king. And whether... You're dealing with that type of energy. It's just somebody who is really, I feel, still admiring you, but they're standing in, they're sitting in very detached energy of um, truth. I don't know what's going on here yet. I got the Six of Wands. Oh, really? Oh. Um, it's a fire energy, but it's about a victory. I do have the Four of Wands under the deck. And then I have it with the Empress. The Empress is all about patience. And that is the angel of abundance. Being so grounded, so earthy, that the Empress will actually remain in her garden of earth, knowing that whatever seeds she has planted, she will harvest them because it's with the Six of Wands, the victory. It's right here. Victory with the Four of Wands. Hmm. What else do we have here? I have the Seven of Pentacles. I have the Four of Cups sideways. And then here comes the Knight of Communication, the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is looking right at you. I think this is someone who wants to... <sighs> They're hoping that you'll be open to something again. And that's what I feel. I, I just feel it with the four of cups sideways. It's like a person who doesn't want to hold back anymore. And now I feel someone, once they go through this transformation period, is hoping to put some work into something here with you so they can see the fruits from their labor. I can hear you. I know you're yelling at me. I just know it. I have the five of cups, five of pentacles, five of cups in their energy, huh? Ace of pentacles, ace of wands, and then I have kaboom, the tower. Wow. You know, it's like the only thing that's stopping this person from offering a new solid beginning or getting one or getting new inspiration is this. It's the rabbit hole of emotion. We've all been there. It's like you fall in that rabbit hole and it's really hard to get out because there are two cups next to you because they're going through transformation and right now they're having a lot of, you might say, tower moments. The tower is a card of something about this person has to be destroyed so it can be rebuilt because they have transformation in the tower. And um, I feel that this is someone who, once they get out of their rabbit hole, you know, um, I just feel someone wants new beginnings, but they have, they have to change something about themselves. You know, um, with you showing up and the lovers and the world, it's like, why are you doing that? Oh, <laughs> flipped out in reverse. It's just kind of telling me that this person here, something about them has to change in order for new 
cycles that can begin. I see two aces, but it's with the five of cups. That is enough for the crossing energies. I'm not here for them. I'm here for you. I'm going to look at what is coming in for you. I'm going to be using the socket tarot cards today. <laughs> Ooh, I'll have authority under the bottom. The boss. Incoming energies, please, spirit guides, thank you for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. Hmm. What would you like to show me? I think right now you're just, you want, you want, you want something. That Knight of Pentacles kept popping out when I was pre-shuffling. So let's see what's incoming for you in a minute. But these are the oracles for the sign of Capricorns. Strongest incoming energies right after this full moon for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. Thank you. What do you want to show me? For the incoming energies, thank you. For the beautiful sign, thank you, of Capricorns. Anything else you'd like to show me? Thank you. Anything else for Capricorns? Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Underneath the deck is I have hope. Hope is Aquarius card. Hope is about anything that you've been through. My spirit guides want me to tell you that the light is about to shine after this super moon because underneath that I have heartache and loss. Look at the light around that. You know, it's almost as if whatever you've been through, Capricorns, the light is about to shine and bring you out of the dark because I have passion ignited. Look at the light in that around the heart. New inspiration, new passion. It's a new beginning. It's like it's with the circle. I mean, that, that is just, that is beautiful. And underneath that, I have truth. And I feel that in the incoming energies, this is the things that you're going to be coming into because right now around you, you're cleaning things up. And you're about to be offered a passionate, brand new beginning. And it's with a lot of hope from whatever has been breaking your heart. And it's telling me it's a completion. It's what I feel. Over to my left as I have rest and rejuvenation. Stand your ground. Memories of love. This is something that I feel in the incoming energies. It's like stand your ground about coming back into your own earth energy. And with memories of love, just hold the things close to your heart that you still love. Because sometimes things just need to heal. And I feel in the incoming energies, everything is about to heal with hope and passion ignited because the last card in front of me is victory and success. Stand your ground. I have rest and rejuvenate. And I feel that this is telling me that you are about to come back into this big light of truth. Beautiful. But I'm going to get some cards. I want to use the Rider weight today, I feel. All right. This is incoming with these oracles. I see what's going on here. All right, Spirit Guides. Incoming cards for my beautiful Capricorns. Thank you. Hope. Passion ignited. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Just starting to feel. <gasps> I have the lovers. It's your destiny. And I have judgment. Judgment is all about releasing something. So something new can be rebirthed. And it's with your destiny. It's with the lovers. Could be a new karmic connection. But let's see. Uh, spirit guides incoming for Capricorns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me these messages incoming for the sign of Capricorns. What else do you want to show me for the incoming energies? I know I had a flipper because I felt it. Oh. All right, you guys. You see the cards. I can't make them up. I'm going to leave that right there. I have passion ignited. I have, I have the Ace of Wands, you guys. It's right here. Double confirmation. And I have it from whatever disappointments you've been through. I feel that the Ace of Wands is almost going to scoop you out of whatever emotional disappointments you've had because you have hope. And it's right there, all that light coming in. All right, what do we have here? Ooh. I have the Seven of Pentacles sideways to my left. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is about the incoming energies is you're going to be really 
coming into this energy of knowing what it is to put work into from the situations and people in your life because you have truth coming in that you're going to see your fruits from your labor grow. You're no longer going to keep putting work into everything. I have the Knight of Pentacles. This, this card flew out so many times in my pre-shuffle. That's the Knight of Earth. That's you going after a mission of your stability. And I have it with big Aquarius, the King of Air. Wow. Either you're going after an air sign or you are really going after something to do with everything you want to do with your stability and in, in that energy of the King of Swords. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Stand your ground. It's all about truth. All right. Who, oh, look who's right here. Capricorn. I have the Knight of Communication coming in with the Five of Pentacles and then the King of Pentacles. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles. And I have one more card. This is something I feel that you are ha you have coming in towards you that's going to help you get out of whatever hole you've been in. Financially, feeling isolated. The Knight of Swords is very fast air energy. It comes flying in. It could be about your way of thinking too. Fast forward thinking of getting the hell out of the Dodge, getting the hell out of that. Because you're on a mission now. And underneath the deck, I have an Ace of Cups. I have it with the Queen of Cups. And then I have the Ten of Cups because underneath all that, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Something you've gone through Capricorn has actually been going to play out in your favor. you got two aces coming in already. It's like confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. All right, Queen and King of Pentacles. So, Taurus and you. So, I just kind of feel like this is you either meeting the one or coming into this energy of success. Coming back into your earth energy. And who's the last card? You guys ready? I have the full zero major arcana, starting over, taking a leap of faith. Your chalkboard is clean. That is beautiful with the wheel of fortune. And then underneath that, I have temperance with the moon, the eight of wands, and judgment. You Capricorns got some big ass power coming in. You, I'm telling you right now, this is going to clean your slate. You're going to feel whole again. Wow. Two aces with the wheel of fortune, the fool, eight of wands. It's something, it's flying in. There's no way you're going to stop this. It's already, it's whatever you've been through, whatever disappointments, goodbye. Because you're standing your ground and you're coming back into the light and you are about to have your passion ignited. From truths, magnificent Capricorns. It's going to start rolling in right after the super moon in Aquarius, 811. Two cards for the sign of Capricorns. Let's see what my spirit guides want to tell you today. Two messages, please, spirit. Thank you for Capricorns. Ooh, I felt good. <laughs> Two messages, please, for my beautiful Capricorns. What kind of messages do you want to tell them today about this beautiful reading for the sign of Capricorns? Anything else about this reading today for the sign of Capricorns? What else do you want to tell the sign of Capricorns, please? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Oof. Oh, okay. I was like a slammer. What do we got, Capricorns? Wow, Angel Ariel has shown up for you. And this is what Angel Ariel has to say to you. I have the seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely, Capricorns. Have patience and wait for your harvest. Oof. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Wow, that's like check, totally resonates with everything. And then they gave me the Knight of Ariel. <laughs> there is so much to accomplish. You're on a mission in the incoming energies. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. Wow, it's almost like your angels have your back. Whatever you've been through, it's like I feel they're cleaning the slate for you. Wow, beautiful. This is what I have for you today, my beautiful Capricorns. If you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment, 
Subscribe if you're not. Thank you. And thank you to my beautiful Capricorns. Hey, you guys. Eight of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You got the Fool. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands. You guys, many blessings to everyone. Um, have a beautiful day. And uh, have a great few weeks. Thank you.